The judge in the trial for quadruple murder suspect Brian Koberger has agreed to move the trial to a different location, where he will face charges for killing four University of Idaho students, RadarOnline.com can reveal. Considering the undisputed evidence presented by the defense, the extreme nature of the news coverage in this case, and the smaller population in Leda County, the defense has met the rather low standard of demonstrating reasonable likelihood that prejudicial news coverage will compromise a fair trial in Leda County, Idaho 2nd District Judge John C. Judge wrote in his recent order, CNN reported. In addition, the judge said the courthouse in Leda County lacks space and the sheriff's office does not have enough deputies for adequate security. While the change of venue request was approved, the new trial location has not been named. Judge referred the case to an administrative director of the courts, and the state Supreme Court will assign both a new venue and a new judge. Koberger's attorneys requested the change of venue, citing the constant news coverage and anger from the public. However, prosecutors argued that expanding the jury pool could address potential bias. In November 2022, Koberger, 29, was studying for a Ph.D. in criminology at Washington State University when police believe he broke into a home in Moscow, Idaho, and allegedly fatally stabbed four students, Kaylee Gonsalves, 21, Madison Mogan, 21, Exana Kernadal, 20, and Kernadal's boyfriend, Ethan Chapin, 20. Koberger was eventually identified as a suspect and charged with four counts of first-degree murder and burglary. He has pleaded not guilty in the case and is currently behind bars without bail. Last year, the state indicated its intent to pursue the death penalty against Koberger during his trial, which is tentatively scheduled to start in June 2025. On September 5, the defense also filed 13 new motions citing the U.S. and Idaho constitutions in its request to remove the death penalty as a possible sentence if a jury were to find Koberger guilty of murder. In one filing, the defense states, the process provided to Mr. Koberger up to this point has failed to adequately protect him from being arbitrarily selected for the death penalty. For the death penalty, jurors would need to agree that aggravating factors or circumstances made the crime more severe, NBC News reported. Now the state has until October 10 to respond to the defense's arguments. The next hearing is scheduled for November 7. Have a tip? Send it to us. Email RadarOnline.com at tips at RadarOnline.com.